Hi guys, welcome to my 20 favourites in 2020, which was set up by Denise from Just Some Makeup Hands, and I'll link her down below. I'm doing two big year-long projects, like big ones, and my team project pan is a rolling one where I'm using the usual projects where I want to finish stuff that's close to dying or I don't really like. This one is something I never do, which this is why I'm one of the reasons why I love Denise. We're using things that we actually really enjoy. And I'm not doing this one rolling style because obviously that's overwhelming. So today I have four, yeah, four products leaving this project. So I'll start with my empties and whatnot and work from there. After today, then I'll have 13 products left to work on between now and the end of the year. So fingers crossed. So let's just get into the update. I'm gonna follow my list here and go from there. First product I finished is this Champneys Body Lotion Citrus Blush in Living 350 mils, 11.8 fluid, US fluid ounces, a little pick-me-up. This smells like a spa orange. Like, a, that's basically what it smells like. Oh, I don't know why I keep doing that. But yeah, it smells like a spa orange. It's in a lotion-y formula. Not anything groundbreaking in according, in according to, to texture, but I absolutely love the smell of this. I got this in boots. I'm just gonna say, I don't know why I always say I'll look it up, but less than 13 euros for this bottle. Um, I don't really care much about the texture, but I just really love that smell. I love anything spa scent orientated. I love it. My brother did not like the smell of this when I was down home, but I think Porik does. But yes, I love this. I will get it again. I am still working through body lotions. My parents get me um, so far body lotion every year for Christmas as part of things so far that I did the last couple of years. So my body lotions are depleting, but when I get through a few more, I will definitely get this again. And it's not that expensive in the scheme of things either. So I'm Pretty happy with that. The second empty is something I'm happy with. It is this liquid lipstick. I thought that I showed you this before, but clearly not. This is the NYX Liquid Suede in 0 0.1, in 0 0.13. It's in Sandstorm and it is four mils or 0 0.13 fluid ounces. I have finished, because it feels like ages ago since I finished this, but the stopper is out. I had this in another project as well, you see. It's pitch dark down there. Four mils does not sound like a lot, but for a liquid lipstick, it takes forever to use. It's a really, really nice color. It is pretty much this color, and I paired it with another lip gloss in this project. It was my favorite for years. I have a backup. It says it expires within six months. I don't really agree with that, because if it takes you longer than six months to use it, I don't understand that. But anyway, I don't really care. It didn't change in smell or texture. It was a kind of a moussey, very, very dry formula. I have tried nicer. People like, don't really like liquid lips anymore. I still do because everything seems to travel to my teeth. But yes, this is finished and I'm really happy because lip, liquid lips take a long time. The third empty is a perfume. It is the Jenny Glow Wood Sage and Sea Salt. We didn't have a lot the last time. This smells exactly the same as the Jo Malone one, except this is like, depending on where you buy it, between 14 and 16 euros. And this bottle is, this bottle bottle is 80 mils. I say this in every update, but just in case you haven't seen, I sprayed the Jenny Glow on one arm and the, the Jo Malone on the other, did a little test with my boyfriend and he couldn't smell any difference. So very much love this. I do have another one and I'm glad I got to use it instead of always using things that are my least favorite. This product is a product I am taking out because as the title suggests, this is 20 favorites in 2020. This is not a favorite. I put this in because my favorite is a black eyeliner and I didn't really know what black. And I had been using it as a base and that it wasn't working out. And then I tried it in the water line and in the up there line. What do you call that one up there? Oh my God, I can't think of it. But anyway, I have photographic evidence of what happened this time. So I was doing my makeup. In the picture, I'm still in my jammies. I haven't even gotten mascara on yet. And it just fell down onto my face. Like it wasn't even a half an hour. I wasn't even finished doing my makeup and it fell onto my face. And that happens every time, so there's just no point. I'm assuming it's because it's so old, perhaps. I can't see why it would do that. Anyway, it does it when I use it as a base, and it does it when I use it as a line eyeliner. And if I have no emotional connection to this anymore, it is gone. And I usually hate pan. I hate that I do that, but I do. I have been known to do that. I'm trying not to. But this is just ridiculous, because it, you could have a really nice eyeshadow look in your mind, and then this gets all over your face. 
So that is going away as well. Kind of proud of myself for doing that. So now let's get into the progress. And I'll show you the product that I'm rolling in in place at eyeliner as well. Actually, I'll do that now. Even though this is not a rolling project pan, I didn't want to count that as an empty because it's not an empty. So I'm rolling in this ColourPop lippy stick in Girl Gang, and I wanted to be strategic, okay? So my favorite lip products are these nude brown shades, and I actually have two of these because when I ordered the 48 lipsticks that you see over there, they accidentally gave me two of the same shade. And it is true that these shade, gosh, is that right? Oh my god, it's still going. Okay, so this is how much is here. I'm going to mark it on a piece of paper and my goal is to finish this by the end of the year. I've never panned one of these lipsticks, so I don't know how long it's going to take, but I thought that was more true. I don't have a favourite eyeliner. I don't want to do that again and make the same mistake. Just my favourite eyeliner is a black one and that one failed miserably, whereas I know that this is more reliable. So we're going to mark that on a page and we're gonna work on this to finish it. Okay, progress time. So foundation, favorite foundation is this battered, battered looking thing. It is the It Cosmetics CC Cream in the shade Fair. Look, I now have a finally got another marking. I love this. I absolutely love it so much. It is a medium coverage. It's kind of a natural, sticky, oh, it sounds rotten. It's a natural finish. It's not matte, it's not wet. Like I'm not, it's not matte and it's not dewy. Be closer to dewy, we're gonna go with satin. And I put it all over my face hole and then I kind of put a little bit more here. I have it on today. I love this and it's 39 euros. It's a very expensive. I got it in Boots. You can get it in Arnott's, Arnott's. And I would get it again. I had been saying to people on here on the tube, where can you get a cheaper one of these? And then someone commented underneath, which now, you know when you're in it, they said something along the lines of, yeah, it's 39 euros, but it takes you so long to use it. So yeah, I would get this again, definitely, but not yet. I have four foundations and yeah, I'm happy enough. Love it. So the next one is my favorite blush and that is the Tarte blush from the Blush Bazaar palette in the shade Ex Extraordinary. And it is very similar to the NARS Orgasm and it was a limited edition shade because I wrote to Tarte at the time. So as you can see on the screen, it was in the Too Faced Peach Blur Powder Compact. I had used it up that powder and put it in there and then I'd been using it since the start of this project. However, it got hard pan, you all. So it got hard pan, so I decided to repress it into here. Now it really did get hard pan where I couldn't get anything off it. And normally like blush, bam on my face, no matter what happens because I'm so fair. So I repressed it into here because I'm doing my makeup now at home, but it's in a little basket and I don't have space for loads of things. So I repressed it into here since I'm already using this. And as you can see on the screen the last time, there was a considerable amount. I used it seven additional times and here's what's left. That is what actually, I'm just gonna hold it still so I can take a little photo. Guys, there's not much left at all, but Lord, the seven times that I've used it in here, it's not moving at all. That is another blush that I'm panning in the Team Project pan as well, so I thought, handy to have the two of them together. Um, it's such a nice shade. Let me just, can you see that? Can you see? I'll try swatch. I hate swatching on clean hands. Basically a peach with a gold shift, the most popular thing going at the moment, or was anyway, and I'm just still on that trend. <laughs> I have that on today as well, over top of the other one. Gosh, I hate pointing things out in case it looks crap. But yeah, that's lovely. This is gonna still take me forever, isn't it? Because I don't know why, just a tiny little ploof onto the brush and it does my whole face. Um, since I'm panning so many blushes in projects, my, I'm thinking what I'm gonna do this month is focus on this one and neglect the other ones almost. Because I do love this one and I do like the other ones because this one's so close. Thoughts? What do you think? What do you think? So I weighed it and it was 64 grams the last time. Now, obviously this is new packaging. So from today now, this is 33 grams. I don't really know will this change because it's such a small amount of product that's even in it. But anyway, for favorite highlighters, my favorite highlight, I don't have a specific favorite highlighter, but I have a specific tone at the moment. And it's from this Huda Beauty 3D Highlighting Vala in Pink Sands, and I'm using the pink shade in it, which is called Ibiza. 
Um, on the screen you can see that there was a bit of a dip in there and I have used it seven times since. I've have so many eye highlighters and projects so I'm actually surprised when I went and checked today that I've actually used it seven additional times. But here it is today and gosh I hope I did insert it on the screen but it doesn't really look any different anyway. Such a beautiful shade. It's just a very light peachy colour. I just love it. I really do. Look at it. Let me show it to you. It's that bottom shade there. So because I'm panning so many highlighters, I wanted to get use out of them all. Again, I'm really surprised. Um, I have a usage goal on another highlighter and another project. So once that's done, I'm gonna go focus on this again. My goal for this product is to hit pan. I like the formula. I bought it last July. So it'll be a year in July. So that's what that looks like for less than a year, which I'm really happy about. I like all the shades that's in here. I've gone down seven grams, but I think that that's incorrect. I think it's because of the sleeve. I removed the sleeves out of all of my products and that's probably the sleeve and I shirt the bin, so now I don't know, but we'll know next time. For favorite bronzer, I've said this every time, but I feel the need to say it every time. The Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer seems to be my favorite. But the last bronzer I just finished before Christmas was that. So my second favourite was, at the time of choosing this, was the Filmstar Bronze and Glow by Charlotte Tilbury. My goal for this one is to hit pan. To hit pan and, you know, it had a bit of the embossing was gone on it the last time. I've now used it a total of 21 times. Does not look much different. Does it? But I want to hit pan on it. I'm kind of proud that I'm getting all this usage out of these things. Considering I foolishly, I'm doing way too many projects. But it's getting a, a, a lot of a dip now. But this will be, I just need to work all the other bronzers out and rotate. But I'm happy I'm getting to use it. I have this bronzer on today. Is this warm? Like I feel that this is warmer than I thought. Like I usually have a preference of a cool, like in the summer, like a glowy bronzer, but I'd like to glow all the time, but this feels warmer than I remembered it. And for some reason, the fairies have entered the house again. It's gone up two grams. I just don't understand that. How can it go up two grams? It went up from 109 to 111. For concealer, I chose the Collection Lasting Perfection. It used to be called Collection in a Thousand. Was it 2000 or 1000? 2000 and it was this is in the shade fair one it's gone down one gram i use it every single time i do my makeup again it's on today i really like it it is a brightening one medium coverage light to medium more medium coverage the reason why i say that is because i have a vein right there and you can still see it when i put this on for some reason but i do really like it i have i think 10 i think i have 10 concealers and this, at the moment, is still my favourite. And it's my cheapest, one of my cheapest ones. So one gram down, pretty happy. Still the stopper is in, have to dip twice to get a look done. So it's getting a little bit harder. <sighs> this is weird, the measurements are so weird uh, for me this time, don't know why. Uh, for powder, I chose my NARS Translucent Pressed Powder in Light Reflecting Setting Powder Pressed Crystal. It says Translucent Crystal. This, I put this in as my favorite press powder because I don't have a favorite press powder at the moment. So I decided to choose my most expensive one. I got this with a voucher, not this year, but last year. But I got it, anyway, I got it with a voucher so I didn't spend my own money on it, but it was 30 something euros, so it was a very expensive. I still haven't hit pan, but it is now my main focus powder. So that's good because I finished off the one I was working on and then I had another one, two other ones in a project and I finished those. So this is my focus. I'm not like, my goal is actually to finish this by the end of the year. It, I can see, I can kind of see a ring here. So that's saying something. I'm not entirely rushing on this because again, the price of it, packaging feels really, really nice. Do I don't really notice it being any better than any cheap one I've tried, cheaper one that I've tried. For primers, I chose the Smashbox, the original photo finish smooth and blur primer, and this has gone down a gram. This was very expensive for me. Um, there's one fluid ounce in it at 30 mils. I'm surprised it's gone down a gram because since we've been working from home, I've stopped using it because obviously I don't want to waste it because of the price of it. Um, I don't have loads of primers in my collection, so it's not like I have loads just sitting there and expiring, so 
I'm only at home. It is clogging your pores if you wear it too much. It does blur out the face. It is a really lovely primer. I do really enjoy it. But at the moment, this is going back in my drawer just for now until I'm back in work. And then I'll pull it out again because my heart breaks to waste that. In my mind, I feel like I'm wasting it because it's just so expensive and I don't have loads. When this is used up, I'd have, what, one or two more. That's going down, it went down a gram, but it's going to my drawer. I think I'm back in work in July, I think. Favourite contouring product is a cream contour stick from Smashbox. Look at her now, lads. She is small. Three pencils in those little kits and all the black is worn off it. I love this and it's discontinued. Why? I don't own any product that is as precise as this pencil. I can't find anything as precise as this. I haven't been able to. I found like smaller sponges, but that's it. Would a lip liner work or would that be too like hard? Would that work actually? I don't know, but like this is really precise because I don't have like defined cheekbones. I use it on my jaw to make myself look more like not double chinny-ish. And I put it here to make my face a little bit more lifted. And I, God, I love it. I'm, it's such a shame it's reduced. I think it was like 33 euro for the three sticks. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love it. It's gone down an awful lot. So it has. I'm, my goal is to finish this by the end of the year. It broke my heart putting this in, but look, it's going to expire. You have to use it. But it's funny now, it's, what is it? It's the 2nd of May, 1st of May. I've been using it since the 1st of January consistently. And I still love it. So for eyeshadows, instead of choosing a palette, since I have, I'm panning a million eyeshadows and projects and I have a pan that palette with like three or four palettes in it. So pan the palettes that I'm panning. So I chose two single eyeshadows from Makeup Geek. Thank you to Elaine for this palette that it's in. And it's I'm Peachless and Voltage. I've used, I've used Voltage twice this month and I'm Peachless three times this month. It was rough. I didn't wear makeup that much. And then again, I was trying to rotate. So this one has a considerable dip, this peach one. And then Voltage. I've been using this one as a, as a highlighter as well. Not that I don't have enough highlighters and projects. It's so gorgeous. And Makeup Geek, this is not part of her new line. Isn't that so sad? They're gorgeous. This was part of her duochrome collection. Gosh, I have this one here in my inner corner at the moment, Voltage. I love this. My goal for these two are to hit pan. Um, let me just put a little close up. I don't know if that helps. Can you see? But yes, my goal is to hit pan on these. Uh, I'm surprised I used it at all. I love these. I still love them. They're gorgeous. Disappointed. I even went on to Temptalia to see if there were shades the same as this, particularly this one, because I have a lot of shades that are close to this one, but not the same. But not this gold green color. Like it is a gold green. Beautiful. For another liquid lip that was part of that combo to make my favourite lip was the Tartiest Lip Paint. Is it? Does this says Tart? Yeah, it's Tartiest Lip Paint. It's worn off in Pillow Talk. How many mils are in it? Can't see how many mils are in this, but it is the same as the last time. It's still 18 grams. You know, it was hard. It's a very, very light colour. I was pairing it in the middle, in the middle of my lip. There it is there. Beautiful. I better wipe that like immediately before it dries. But anyway, this is one of my favorites. This is a very dry formula. Again, this one was like, when I swirl it around, look, can you see that? Windows are starting to appear with effort, granted. But I want to finish this by the end of the year. I put a heavy like burden, like a heavy goal on myself to put emphasis on liquid lips because they're really hard to pan. They take such a long time. Yeah, I want to finish this and just keep working away. I do have a backup now because I just uh, I have a backup of this one now. This last product is my lip liner and it is the MAC Lip Pencil in Whirl. Like, I chose this because my favourite lip liners are nude browns. So I have it on me today. I don't know if you can see, but it is quite warm. So even if this was cruelty free, I would not get it again because it's a little bit warm for my liking. It's 1.45 grams in her in her, all up in her. This is the markings here. So I only went down a teeny smidge, a teeny little smidgeroo. That's weird, isn't it? Lip liner takes an awful lot, doesn't it? So I suppose given how expensive it was, it is taking its time. It's a very dry formula. That's my update for today, guys. Please check out everyone else that's doing this on Instagram using the hashtag that's in the title. 
There's a few people on YouTube doing it as well. Laura is doing it and she had made a community playlist so I'll link that down in the description box so you can see the other videos on this and have a nice day.